What, what is amazing about the conspiracy community and Sam and his fellow swarm people, etc., <laughs> is that they do literally no research. They don't even read, they won't even read the preliminary stuff about what these companies actually do. So they, and like, like NASA, like this oh idea. That, oh no, are you all right? Oh <laughs> when people ask, is everything a conspiracy? The answer is yes. Who and what? is controlling everything and why. They, they practice sorcery. I can't argue against magic. <laughs> I don't know what it is that we live on, but I believe it's a realm. This realm that we live in is the lowest level of heaven, highest level of hell. Chicken snake gods and the Anunnaki and sorcery. If Sam says the chicken snake god is running everything, I'm literally in the world of crazy. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> You're losing. Conspiracy Social Club, aka Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Hey, Whoa. hey, man, we're in it, bro. Welcome to Conspiracy Social Club, aka Deep Waters, aka Highway to the Danger Zone. Touchy. Subjects. Yes, bro. I, you know what I love about that? We're so in sync when we sing. Just for some reason, we just get right at the right octave. Yeah. And bang, we're just in sync, but, dude. Uh, my wife, um, I, I, I had earphones in, and I was singing, Slow down, you crazy child. You're so ambitious for a juvenile. And um, and I was really trying to sing it, and she videotaped it, and I didn't know. And boy, did I sound bad. No, but yeah, but like, bad damn. is good, though, dude. I don't know, dude. You you want to be you want to be sing. Jamie Fox? You want to be good at everything? I do. Okay, respect. We have I, a new drop today. What? Yeah, it's called the boring alarm. Okay, Bro. let's hear it. I want to hear it. <laughs> you guys are being too boring. Already? I can't even get my. Well, no, I was just just kind of. I don't know. God, man, I'm just hey, man. To... Did you guys hear this crazy story about Janet Jackson? <laughs> no. Okay, dude, this is the craziest story, right? This, like, Middle Eastern billionaire is like, okay, if you marry me and do these two things, if you marry me uh, and last five years, you'll get $100 million. If you marry me and give me a kid... You'll get another $100 million. Guess what? She just lasted five years. She had a kid. She just dipped out. What? $200 million. Really? Bro. Yeah. Wow. Is that true? Let me see that. Yeah. Well, Wissam Almana, five things to know about Janet Jackson's ex-husband. He seems like a pretty good looking guy. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, he's a good looking guy. But he, she's like, I'm out. Wow. Yeah, he's a really good looking guy. Yeah. And it's like she, you play... Play pro and he he spent two hundred mil on that. Oh my god! I I, I mean I, I don't know. There's a thousand Instagram models that are hotter than a current Janet Jackson. One current. thousand. Back in the day, Janet Jackson. Now we're now now I we got a fight. Her, I never found her that attractive. What? Yeah. You're racist. Uh, no, no, I just never found her very attractive. Um. Oh. Yeah, that's a great uh, two hundred million dollars hit it. Damn. That's a lot of money, huh? That's a lot of money. No matter who you are, that's. You do a lot of shit for two hundred million dollars. Two hundred million dollars, because two hundred million dollars after taxes is at Hold least one hundred and thirty million. But what if she doesn't come back here? What if she just chills in Dubai for a while? A couple of years go by. Does she still have to pay taxes on that two hundred mil? I don't know, and I don't know if um, you'd want to chill in Dubai or anywhere. But I go. Where can I go that I don't have to pay him taxes on this? Uh you know, you can go to probably Switzerland or places like that. You know, you oh, of in, course, there it is, Switzerland. Of course, yeah. yeah Switzerland has long been. Do you guys know? There's, a, there's a saying about Switzerland: the Swiss will tolerate, yeah, rough ruffians, but not rough trade. So they'll tolerate. But, oh, does that mean like when gay men try to hook up with straight guys? No, no, no. that's what that's what rough trade is. Okay, that's you can it. be you can be a a international arms dealer. You can be a, 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 a international gangster yeah and you can put all your money in their banks what yeah. they won't stand for is if you bring your crime criminal behavior to switzerland of course then you're in trouble of course yeah uh so so in hungary they just put out this thing if you're a woman and you are you have four children if you're willing to have four kids you never have to pay taxes again 
Yeah, because I would never pull out. No, because everybody is worried about this demographic disaster. Yeah, that a lot of countries like China and Russia. I uh, guess dealing where with. else? America. Yeah, America. More, more, and more. Uh, do you believe that Switzerland is a gateway to hell? Yeah. No, and yes. not even a little bit. You mean Switzerland yes. has traditionally. I been, know you mean yes. Been uh, it's it's been impenetrable because of the Alps, and it's also been very good at staying very neutral and highly civilized. So, Brian, can I ask you something? This is where we get into fun discussions. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian, why didn't Hitler go into Switzerland? Hitler didn't go into Switzerland for a lot of reasons. One, he didn't feel he needed to. Oh, okay. All so, right, so, all right. He's like, why bother? No, yeah. because, because... Why bother? You no, know, Hitler needed a neutral place probably to put all the money. Okay. That he, and the gold. Okay, he, he wouldn't pilfering. put it in Germany. <clears throat> no, because... You know, when a country's at war, it made more sense to hide it somewhere else. Okay, all right. My guess. But also, there's a, there's a couple of reasons why. I don't think Switzerland was... It was the Swiss yeah. were a people that he sort of probably admired okay. and, and thought would, would eventually be a part of greater Germany without any war. They didn't need to really invade it because they were, the, they were Aryan they were mountain people. They were, you know, there was a lot of lure about Sw Switzerland, which was it wasn't even so much a country because it was a, a a hilly part of the country. A world. hilly part. It was it was a mountain. So part what of you're the world. saying is Hitler was afraid of hills. Well, it was villages, right? Switzerland was villages, and only Russia was hilly villages. Yeah, well, Russia, no! Russia was so flat that he wanted to create the, Russia. And literally, he said, "I'm going to." I'm going to create a wasteland and move Germans into Russia. Oh. So I'm going to kill everyone, and I'm going to move the Aryan people, okay. the, the people of the Third Reich, into Russia. Do you think there's any coincidence that the CERN, the Hydrant Collider, is in Switzerland and it's a portal to hell? No, yeah, no, do you no, think no, that? No, and there is no such thing as a portal to hell. You don't think that the a Bank of International Settlements, which runs all the centralized banks, is there? That doesn't mean anything? So the Bank of International Settlements doesn't do that. Yes, it does. It doesn't. Thank and you, buddy. And I need you. Thank you, buddy. I really need you okay. to okay. understand at least something about finance. Okay. Your, your conversations about Vanguard and BlackRock are the most hilarious things Brian are you, Brian Brian they're Brian, hilarious Brian they're actually you're hysterical. the only guy that likes to relive his trauma not in a way of going back but, to deal with it but, but so they get inflicted funny. by it again it's so funny when these people make videos saying they own all this stuff it's right like, it's so funny like if there was a if there was an alley whoa whoa where, where, whoa talk what just careful with that cord. Okay. Yeah. Like if there was an alley where like bad things happen to your bum bum, right? Yeah. <laughs> Brian would love to go down that alley constantly. And he would never remember that this is bum bum danger. No, no, no. There's no bum bum danger here. And I have to give him a yellow card That's because fine. he's turning yeah. me into a power bottom. That's and totally this is fine. not acceptable. Yeah. Now, listen, it's, 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 everybody who has these conversations, what, what is amazing about the conspiracy community and Sam and his fellow swarm people, et cetera, is that they do literally no research. They don't even read, they won't even read the preliminary stuff about what these companies actually do. So they, and like, like NASA, like oh this idea God. that, oh no, are you all right? Oh <laughs> Oh, oh my god, wrong pipe. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, he's not allowed to, to spit up. <laughs> what are you laughing so hard for? You cracked me up, bro. You make me laugh. Go on. Wow, that was so funny. Why was that so funny? <laughs> what did I say? Oh, oh man. You cracked me up. Go on, keep going. Look, at the end of the day, I need you to educate yourself on what Con like what NASA is, <laughs> what the National Weather Service is. You don't know what, what you don't know these... what CERN does. Well, CERN is just a a, a collider, right? <laughs> I don't know what CERN does, but I know it's a it's a it's a um, particle collider, and Sam, they're trying to figure out how the Big Bang started. Do, Sam, <laughs> do you want to tell him what the Large Hadron Collider does? 
Well, basically, it's opening up a, uh, oh, it's tearing a reality. You can't start by saying basically because <laughs> you don't know enough about <laughs> physics to say it's basically. There's nothing basic about that certain color. Okay. Well, basically, the way the universe works is, okay. <laughs> like, what, like the what certain with the smartest physicists. <laughs> well, I mean, basically what it is, is it's uh, just uh, guys there with like a long tube and they're shooting stuff around. So let's say, and and the idea well, is to open a portal. What they're doing is they're help. ripping a, a, a tear into space and time. That's what they're doing, and a lot of people think they're causing something called the Mandela effect, where they're changing our reality. A lot of people. Who are those There's people? a lot of those people. people in your a lot of people. Uh, in your orbit. Yeah, have never taken yeah. a physics. The people class? have been right about everything the last the like people, eight years. The people that have never taken a physics class. Yeah. I will say this though: the Old Testament and Book of Leviticus talks about Moloch. In, Mo Moloch. And Moloch was the god that... Bro, the don't you, I'm getting into the Lord, bro. You don't even want to know, Me dude. Me too, bro. Moloch was the god that the Lord of the Hebrews warned them about. Don't worship Moloch because he is who the Egyptians, the Canaanites, and everybody else worship, right? Yes, yes, so yes. He said, I am the Lord, your God. Yes, yes, bro. I'm yes. getting into all that. And Aaron's And why sons, is there so much pain and suffering here? Be, who, did we already talk about this the other day? Who is the king of this realm? Well, the truth, the truest thing you've ever said that I love is, is this is the highest rung of heaven and the lowest level of hell. I love that. There is no hell, though. This is it. Mm, interesting. Maybe. But anyways, so yeah. we're going to go back to this story. But anyways, I'm getting into this. Everything's about fallen angels. What percentage of angels were cast out of heaven? Well, I know Lucifer was cast out of heaven for having pride, right? Yeah. Well, what percentage of the angels? 666%. No, 33%. 33. Is that true? 33? Yeah. All of Lucifer's followers? 33, yep. They were cast from heaven? Yes. Look that up. What does that number mean? That's the Freemason number, 33. Every time you see 33, you know some shit's getting weird, which unfortunately my favorite basketball player. Do you think the Freemasons are... Evil? Well, I mean, they worship Lucifer. I don't, I don't know if that's true. Yeah. They do? Yeah. But they say he's the bearer of light, which is knowledge. <clears throat> oh, so he was the angel that was cast out of heaven for having pride. Yes. And pride isn't necessarily a bad thing. Nietzsche said the same thing. Nietzsche said that pride is considered a sin among Christians, but it, it's, it's, I think he railed Well, the truth is idea. he got casted out because he wanted to be above God. Oh. Anyways, what going happened? back. What happened? Ah, oh, shit. That was All a right. fun right. conversation. Okay, okay, okay. All, All right. right. Let's get back to what... Oh my god! I, let's get I back threw to up what, coffee all over. Let's get back. Let's, anyways, let's get so, back to what you were saying so, about the CERN collider. Okay, CERN collider is ripping time and knocking us into other what is believed timelines. So in a, a past timeline, Brian Bob Barker had already died. And then he died again, and now we just celebrated him for the third time dying. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Let's watch this guy with a giant cheese on his head talk about it. This comment relates to the Bob Barker Mandela effect. She wants to know why in my video about Bob Barker passing away are the comments from 2022 when I posted that video yesterday. Well, I'll tell you why. Because last December... I made a video about Bob Barker passing away, and that was for the second time. Yeah, there had been an article that said he passed away five years ago. So let's get this straight. Five years ago, there was a story in the news that Bob Barker passed away. Oh, yeah, there was. Then in December of last year, 2022, there was another story in the media that said he just passed away, and I made a video about it. Look at the date. It's from December 2022. Then yesterday, I saw that Bob Barker passed away again. So I made another video. Yeah. So you can... Well, I will say this, Sam. I will say this. He, that guy, is, is, he seems to be batshit crazy. <laughs> Not just because of the cheese on his head, but because he hasn't blinked yet. But I will say also that most prophets were batshit crazy. At least they seem to be, but they were bringing truth. So maybe he's a prophet. Maybe he is, he is coming to us with or, a warning of the Or um, maybe he's keeping record. Or maybe he is keeping record. You know? 
Do you want to ring the bell? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, no hold on. Uh, now, all he said was that there are some stories in the media. Brian, so now who wants to hear something really weird? Yes. What? What if the government has such advanced technology that they can go and basically edit the entire internet? Well, the problem is that they'd have to edit my mind too, wouldn't they? Well, okay. To the neighborhood of Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, you know, uh, in the Quran, the Muslims believe that a big part of why they memorize the Bible is because jinns can't change your mind. They can only change everything around you, but they can't touch what's in your oh, mind. I like that. Oh, wow. A jinn, too. You use the word jinn. And you know, in if you ever watch, um, and, and jinns are essentially sort of semi-demons who lead wayward men astray. They usually find a group of men who have a proclivity for violence already or immoral behavior, and they lead them further astray. And one of the great feats of the English language is a book by Cormac McCarthy called Blood Meridian. And in it, a seven-foot man with absolutely no hair on his body is... Uh, and a giant, uh, he 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 Big joins. Dick. He joins a group of scalp hunters in the 1820s, and they're getting paid by the Mexican, a Mexican mayor of a town, to collect as many scalps as possible, which was a thing. And they're a horrendous group of men. And the judge, he's known as the judge, who knows everything, and I mean everything. He leads them. He leads them essentially to their. And ultimately to their ruin. If you want, there it is. And he's a giant jinn. And there's a Cormac McCarthy only makes one reference to it when he steps over the campfire like a giant jinn. And you're like, oh, that's who the judge is. Because he's clearly magical. And he's Malachian. And he leads them into it. You've got to read the book. It is, it's a masterpiece. Are you telling Sam to read Blood Meridian? You guys should not uh, I read. read. It. You shouldn't read it. You should download it and listen to Richard Poe. You should listen to Richard Poe. I love that name, Merit. Richard Poe. Oh, he's got the hey, greatest pa, pa. voice. I'm not going to play it, but I want I want you to hear his voice, and I want you to what? Do, he didn't read it either. You didn't read it either. Uh, well, I, I've listened to it several times, <laughs> um, as as I do with most of my books. I am now listening to the Brothers Karamazov, another. Well, you guys, I can't even bring it up to you people. Yeah. Because you guys are... You what guys propaganda book is that? Oh, my God. ...down and kicking horses, and they milled and circled and were shot down one by one until the dozen survivors among them turned and fled up the lake past the groaning column of refugees and disappeared in a drifting wake of soda ash. Oh, God, this is the writing. Glanton <clears throat> turned his horse. The dead lay awash. I think this is copyright. Like victims of some disaster at sea. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Yeah. God. How powerful. So, so close. We should cut that out and me puking. Cut it right out. No, why, uh, dude? No, Come on. Fine. Keep it raw. <laughs> keep fine. it raw, bro. Uh, all right. So we have uh, some political stories that we need. Yes. To yes. Uh, well, but before we get into that, I want Sam to acknowledge on, one dude, thing. This is where everything goes bad. Okay. But I want Sam to at least acknowledge one thing. And... You guys are always talking about how the government doesn't want us to know certain things. Okay. And how it's all about money and how they no. want our enslavement. No. And, or it's all about spiritual warfare. Know. There we yeah. go. But wouldn't you say, Sam, that yeah, if that is the case with the government, they've done a terrible job because haven't most of us access to all the food we want? Haven't most of us access to all the entertainment we want? Haven't most of us have access to the cars that don't break down and proper medical care? And don't we all you kind are of have so cute? Don't yeah. we all kind of this have like, a lot of personal freedom? And I can get it. Well, it's like unbelievable. Why is that? Me. Why we, am I not allowed this a thousand to ask times? that question? Brian Callen. No, <laughs> no. 
<laughs> not fair. Fucking what do you mean? <laughs> we I have other things we want to talk about. Question. Leave your time. legs alone. Fine. Your legs didn't Fine. do anything. Fine, God give me my fucking Jesus. Fine, give me. I want to just me get current a, events. A child psychologist and have it ask your legs. Where did Brian touch you? Give That's me a, what I want. Give me a do. current event, you bastards. Uh, okay, so um, uh, regretfully, Putin is declining an invitation to Prigozhin's funeral. Oh. What a surprise. Uh, well, I mean, like, uh, color me shocked that this happened. Is anyone else shocked that this happened? No, you can't lead a mutiny again. Would you ever Vladimir get on a plane Putin. with this guy? What? <laughs> yeah. Would you ever? No. Hey, man, you want to go for flight? Not with you. I'll meet you there. Yeah. I'm going to hitchhike there. I'll be there in four months. Yeah, I'm going to. Exactly. I'll be walking. Yeah. Like, this guy This guy somehow thought that he wasn't going to be completely taken out. Right. You led a mutiny against <laughs> Vladimir Putin. You have to be nuts, bro. <laughs> and also, that has to be the craziest, dumbest thing you can ever do. he turned it around. He turned around. He was on marching on the Kremlin and turned around. It's like, if you're going to do that, bro, you better plan it and you better carry through because the price of failure is 100% death. Yes. And he, then he, imagine when you just go into work that day. You're like, today I got to go. I work. I got this great job on this private jet. Wonder who's going to come on. And then that dude walks on. You're I like, mean, oh, man. I mean, and all, oh, yeah. my God, dude. I got to get off. Why did I turn down that job where I, I just basically hand out candy and towels in the shitter? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I should just keep Anything's that Anything's better than that. Yeah, right. Anything. Right? Yeah, I mean, he, uh, it's just like, what are we doing, bro? Yeah, Brigosian, Brigosian was, it was it was his jet, too. But obviously, dude, you got to know you're going to get your, you're going to die. Like, what are you doing? And you went to Belarus, and the president of Belarus was handpicked by Putin. He's got total control of that country. <laughs> and you, what did he do? Did Putin say, ah, you know what? It's all right. Uh -huh. After you publicly, humi if you internationally humiliated him? Really? Okay. See what happens. Do imagine pissing that guy off. Oh, you die. Yeah. You die. And Putin what happens is, just... is you just die. You just get poisoned or thrown out a window. Something happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and talk about being cast out of uh, heaven for pride. He was a hot dog vendor. And then... He was, he, his, he was actually his chef or yeah, caterer. Yeah, he, he, he was a caterer. And then the hubris of... Turning against him and I, thinking when he was making okay. videos, Hold on, what? When he was making videos, so that guy was a hot dog yeah. vendor, no, then Br became Brugusian, a mercenary of Brugusian death. Was like, yeah. what? Brugusian, yeah. Brugusian I'd was, like to hear that story. Does that, do you got any books on that that we can listen yeah, I think to? He was a chef or something, but Brigosian was also is like, he Armenian? No, but when he was no, I don't think so. But when he was making when he was making uh, those those videos kind of calling Putin to the mat, I was like, are you out of your mind? Yeah, what are you doing? What well, are you doing? Well, well he, Brian, let's entertain this. Do you think he's really dead? Yes, I do. You think he's really dead? 100%. I don't think there would be any upside to keeping him alive. Putin doesn't want that guy. And alive. the question is, is it Putin that killed him? Because some people think he was paid very handsomely by the CIA to do this coup. And that he basically turned his head... On, uh, whoa, that's crazy. So that's Pergosian on the right. That is so crazy. In a catering capacity for George Bush. Is that really him? Yeah. Wow. Wow, dude, that is nuts. Yeah. That's how long Putin has been in George Bush. And that was that Merkel? Uh, I believe so. What's that? A good you know reason. Merkel. You know Mer you, not you know Merkel's dad is right. Merkel, Angela Merkel. Yeah. No. Yeah, Hitler. Uh, that's not true. Yeah, but. it's it's it, she she's uh, they the Russians. Uh, they were sperm. Or there's Hitler's sperm was frozen. H Hitler and had, and they created Merkel. Hitler had no children. Yeah. And Angela Merkel would be <laughs> the worst villain. You mean the, Angela Merkel who yeah. opened the borders? We looked that all up. The Syrians yeah. go to brave. Yeah, I'll go. No, to, I'll go. To no, Brave don't go to Brave now. because Brave go to is Brave browser. <laughs> is Brave under the same banner as NotTrue.com? <laughs> uh, no, but um, okay. While I'm looking that up, uh, sh really quickly, Trump has a court court uh, date, a bro. Court date, um, <clears throat> coincidentally set for the day before Super Tuesday. 
Yes. Uh, any political The idea behind there. all of this is they want, there are Republicans and Democrats that want him to get convicted. There are two things that could happen. One, they want to convict him. If they can convict him, they get him out of the race. Number two, if they can't convict him, it's possible that the secretaries of state, especially the Democrat secretary of states, in, in, in various states, there is a provision in the Constitution, goes back to the Civil War, it's murky, where you could technically remove him from the ballot because he is what you would consider an insurrectionist. And that if they do that, you will see civil unrest like you've never seen before. Dude, I think that, I, I, I listen, dude, everybody's a fed. That's what I just learned today. <laughs> Fresh and fit, they were feds. You know that, right? Anyways, so it's like, what is the game being played here? Is well, it, it's a demoralization campaign. What do you think it, the game is? It's like, demoralization. But do it's you to think, break our spirits. Do you think there's a lot about Trump that people just, smart, sober people, do you think there's a lot about Trump that smart and sober people who are conservative consider destructive and dangerous to the republic? Uh, today, not as much as what they're seeing going on from the other side. What do you think? Besides, what do you forget the other side. Is Trump, is Trump, do you think, a threat to our democracy? No. Do you think Trump's a viable and good candidate? I think I would take him over anybody since JFK. Why? What? Nothing. Who? Who? Nothing. Who do you got? Over, Who'd you take? Over Ronald Reagan? One hundred percent. Really? Yeah, Ronald Reagan was just a a, a, a front man for the George Bush death call. Hundred percent. Yep, they had 100%. to they had to have minute, good looking, this is charismatic 100%. Ronald Reagan in so power this bottom George amazing. Bush Senior could go in there and just wreck shop. Well, so I would have you know, I don't know if you've ever heard the phone call. Or have you? But the, when when Ronald Reagan chose George Herbert Walker Bush as his running mate, yeah, he didn't want to choose him, of course, because Herbert Walker Bush was pro-choice, right? And he made George Herbert Walker Bush renounce his pro-choice stance and and adopt a pro-life stance. And when George Herbert Walker Bush said, "I can do that, and I will do that." Then he was offered the vice presidency. Oh, that's so cute. And that's a matter of not only historical record, it's a matter of we have it on tape. All right. So what do you say to that? I say theater for the stupid. Theater for the stupid. Yeah, or as I like, I think my next special is going to be called Opiate for the Ass. Let me ask an even better question. Are you under the assumption, and let me try to keep from bursting into laughter, but are you under the assumption that... George Herbert Walker Bush was running the Reagan administration. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. You are. Yeah. I don't know why you won't write a good fictional movie, dude. <laughs> Brian, you Brian, live in a world Brian, of what such did, insanity. What did, what did Ronald Reagan do in response to the, to the Iran-Contra he said, I had nothing to do with that because George Bush was running that shit. Well, who got busted with underage boy hookers in the White House? Was not Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Was no. George no. Bush no, Sr. George Bush. You're a no, crazy George person. Bush Sr. didn't get caught with, with uh, teenage boys in the White House. You can't. You, you it's can't, called the Lincoln scandal, and you don't no, know no, your history. You can't, you can't float conspiracy theories that are Brian, so outrageous. Is the Lincoln scandal not uh, a scandal? It's not about 14-year-old boys getting molested by George Herbert Walker Bush, though. Okay. Right? okay. Do you want to look it up? 100%. Yeah. Okay, let's look it up. Not on Brave, please. Go not, to Brave, please. No, let's not use Brave. <laughs> use Brave. It's, please don't, because it's just... Um, it is not called the Lincoln scandal. I'll, I'll look this up for... Uh, but really quickly, uh, we just have to kind of double back to this um dude what are you doing you gotta you gotta use what are you Reuters doing bro Reuters fact check is outstanding Th- no it's not no, that is the, Roth the child it's proof. no 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 Reuters that's a Roth child Reuters Reuters is they use this to to bet on stuff yeah of course, <laughs> of course <it's> not. <laughs> no, 
I know. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's not. No, but Sam. Look Sam at their faces. Up, Sam comes up with. They have the same stuff. saggy puppy dog eyes. Oh no, no, Sam. No. She has <laughs> Hitler's puppy dog eyes. No, Sam. No, no. Saggy no, puppy dog eyes. No, Sam. Google, Google Hitler Merkel. No. No, Don't we're do done it. with the, that. No, we're bro. We're put, it that yeah, search. We're put it together. Yeah, right. Okay, it's so <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> that. I so love ridiculous, bro. This is offensive and ridiculous. But his, uh, his, his fictional history of the all-powerful Bushes is absolutely historic. Brian, I'm so sad for you that you don't understand history. But Brian, was... This is you know the best part about Brian is whenever I want to just get an easy win, I could go back to wins I've got from you before because yeah. you don't remember them. No, I remember so Brian, this, but there was some no, kind of Brian. A, Brian was mm. George Bush's father, Prescott Bush, yeah. charged with funding the Nazis. No, he was not. Okay. No. We, um, I think we've already answered the, this. The 1983 congressional page sex scandal. Yeah. 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 Well, so the pages Part of the Lincoln were, scandal. The pages were what? 20-year-old, 21-year-old guys? No, underage. 17-year-old. Yeah. And it was even younger in other things. Yeah. That's, that's a cleaning it up. And what happened? They were getting banged by certain gay men in the uh, government? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it looks looks to be that sure. that happened. Yes, uh, thank yeah. you. Representative Dan Crane had sex four to five times at his suburban apartment with sure. a female page. With a female No, page. that's not the How story. Studs invited, uh, there's a guy named Jerry Studs. Oh, of course uh, Studs he, involved. He, he had porn. sex with a, uh, a male page. So in other words, there were some senators and, and Congress people who were gay or who, and who wanted to have sex with a hot... 17 year old that that's news okay, to you you sound that's gross. news and crane that's said i want that, the members that. to know i am sorry and i apologize yes but is that news to you that 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 there are there are men out there that prey on you know some 17 18 year old intern yeah okay but that's not exactly like why are you saying that herbert walker bush had child hookers because there's no such thing as a child hooker in there anymore. oh oh the franklin scandal that's it look that's it up the it. franklin yeah, yeah, yeah. scandal franklin. there we go yeah, that's sorry that's guys up. not the lincoln scandal my apologies to my conspiracies brothers but it's an and example sister. of how, it is how the shoddy, franklin scandal it's an example of how shoddy your details are <laughs> brian 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 you don't even know brian, the names of i these i I have vague details that are yes, correct. Vague you details have, don't work you in have a court of law. Specific ideas that are wrong. Okay, <laughs> that's a that's a that's a. I much rather be myself. Vague details don't work very well. What do we got? <laughs> um, you know this this was a um, well this is a great article. Uh, the twenty forgotten Bush scandals and oh let's go over them. Twenty is kind of a lot. You would. Admit. Let's go. Right? Let's go. Yay. Uh, give, give me every all. This show is going to be dedicated right now <laughs> to the fucking 20 Bush scandals because I'm already annoyed. And I want to know how can you where be? you are getting this, you piece of shit. Hey, uh, no, no, yes, no, 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 bring no. it up. Uh, I, and you shut up about feelings. Bring it up. Cum pig over there has feet. Cum pig. I'm not a cum pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come factory. No, oh come my factory. god! Oh my god! That's so awful. That's so funny. All right. First of all, in March 2006, Claude Allen, Bush's top domestic policy, was arrested when he tried to return items he had shot left from Target for cash refunds. All right. That's not. That's not. Very uh, Allen made 60, 161 blamed stress from Hurricane Katrina. Okay, that was under the. the oh, w, okay. That was okay. Under okay. Bush Here w. we go. Okay. In twenty two hundred five. Wait, can I read it? Okay. Sorry. In two hundred five, bloggers pricked up their ears when a reporter named Jeff Gannon asked a softball question at a press conference. Some sleuthing turned up nude photos of Gannon, real name James Cucker, on, on male escort websites. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, that's so he was a reporter who was turning tricks. I love it. That's not really a scandal. That, that involves is a scandal. the Bushes. Oh, followed by Randall, an aid czar. Randall Tobias, Bush's aid czar, spelled wrong, um, mandated that organizations must oppose pollution, prostitution in order to receive American aid. It later emerged that Tobias purchased <laughs> services through the notorious DC Madam. Come on, Though man. To, let the Tobias kids, maintain. Let the he ladies only bought dance. massages. I love that. That's awesome. Uh, nothing to see here, actually. The Interior Department's Minerals Management Service would not 
seem to be the sexiest government agency, but a Department of Investigation last year found the officials had frequently consumed alcohol at industry functions. Oh, my God. And had used cocaine and marijuana. Oh, my God. And had sexual relations with the oil and gas company rep- rep- representatives. Dude, that's So they got they drunk and they did some blow and they smoked weed and, and fucked? Okay. That's wow, it's amazing. Right. Okay, keep going. Um, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. mRNA. That is true. All right. Uh Let's go down. To Where'd that. the money go? When testifying before Why Congress you all in way 2007, to the Paul Brenner, the former head of the reconstruction in Iraq, was unable to account for as much as $12 billion, about half of his budget. What a surprise. As the head of the coalition provisional authority between May 203 and June 204, according to a report by Representative Henry Waxman, contractors bought, brought bags to meetings in order to collect shrink wrap bundles of money. Now that is a real scandal. And that is an example We're only of at number what, five. what happens when government gets too big and has absolutely no accountability. And that right there should be something all of us talk about constantly. Because if you want to talk about government waste, I believe that number. You miss, you don't know where $12 billion is. Huh? <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> Huh. And, huh. And, and, and where did it all go? Oh, it got taken by a whole bunch of people, probably Iraqis and probably everybody else. Okay. And so no we're one at knows number how five. to But we're that's in. a very important thing. We're that's in, a real scandal. Five. But that's a scandal that lays at the feet of people who think big government is the answer. In 2004, so if you Pentagon- take money bad, if you do coke and weed with gay hookers, Okay. Well, it also points to <laughs> it also points to the inconsistency and the hypocrisy of the right that's always saying we need a strong military, but they don't think about all the ways that the military uses spends. Good point. That the Next. Pentagon does. In 2004, Pentagon auditors found that Halberton had not adequately accounted for $1.8 billion of the bill it sent to the United States government yep. for its work in Iraq and Kuwait. What a surprise. Yeah. Of course you're going to overcharge the United States government. Of course you are because there's no oversight. Because it's all funny money bullshit. That's right. Go on. Also that year, Bunatine Greenhouse, fake name, the Army Corps of Engineers Chief Contracting Officer charged that KBR, a Halliburton subsidiary, Unfairly received billions of dollars worth of no-bid contracts, so nobody else bid on it in Iraq. Yeah. Greenhouse was demoted in 2005, yeah, for speaking the truth. Again, this this is how Washington is what? Can we just keep going? Some of these of are. In 2002, Canadian citizen Maher now, Arwar was detained at an airport in New York and spirited away to Syria, where he was tortured, held for 10 months by damn. his captors before being returned home. That was called extraordinary rendition. Is it, which Canadian Bush officials, is this? Junior? I think it's junior. Canadian uh, officials investigated Arar's case, declared he was innocent, and paid him $9 million in compensation. Wow. Well, American senior. officials refused to admit the mistake and instead kept Arar on a terrorist watch list. I mean, well, I, I had just found the article, and then you guys said, let's go through it, so I didn't get a chance to vet it. Okay. But, I mean, the Bushes, That's all right. Don't worry about the, it. The Bushes are evil, and, and Brian knows that. I just want to get into the, the, the Franklin scandal and the boy hooker. Can you just look up George Bush, White House, Boy, no, keep going. What's boy. the last one? You no, said but there was the, these are these are for Junior. We all know Junior's a scumbag. You think that Senior was a good guy? Well, I don't think that any of that makes, means he's a scumbag. That's just I just see government being so big that you're always going to have people who fleece it. Right, you're going to have fraud. But right? you know that the government lying about weapons of mass destruction has led to the death of a million Iraqi major scumbag. Right? Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. Agreed. Do you want Prescott or do you want Senior? Senior. You know what I think about that? I think that the people behind the scenes are the real scumbags, and I think George W. wasn't very smart. No, you could do that. Was, you could definitely say yeah, that. I think he was naive, and I think they go. But I think his White dad House. was the Dick Cheney of of uh ronald reagan so you know his dad actually is very interesting did you if you ever notice his father was very quiet he never said a thing and in fact george herbert walker bush thought it was a terrible idea to go into iraq terrible idea and and he said as much in a lot of his different communiques and that now is something people are talking about george hw said this is out you're out of your fucking mind but he didn't want to tell his son that he said you got to make your choice. I'm going to step out of it. It's so crazy that the guy that basically got rid of, attempted to get rid of three presidents, he basically 
was part of the assassination of JFK. He basically was behind uh, Richard Nixon stepping down, and then he tried to take out Ronald Reagan, but he was like, you can't go in Iraq. Is that what you're saying? Yes, and I don't think he was behind the Kennedy assassination. One hundred percent. Nor was he. Uh, he was there. For He's getting, one of the hobos. Wait, wait. Nixon stepped down, Sam, because of. Now this is going to be a history lesson. This you is drink so cute. Coffee, I don't want you to spit it. Go on. Um, Nixon had to step down because something called <laughs> Watergate, right? Yeah. Right. Right? Watergate he, because, was a bad thing, his, right? His people were bugging the Democratic National Committee's oh, headquarters. Oh, okay. And he found out about it and didn't tell anybody. Oh, okay. Is, is, is that, are you contesting that? Uh, are you contesting that Watergate am I didn't saying, happen? Yeah, who is behind it? G. Gordon Liddy and his, and his buddies. Okay. They called him the plumbers. Okay. Have you done any... Now, yeah? George, you don't think there was any CIA involvement in that? No, there wasn't. George, None at all? No, George okay. Herbert Walker Bush. All right. George Herbert Walker right, Bush had nothing to do with that. that. Okay. Do you think he did? Yeah, invisible hands, bro. But wait, what do you mean? What do I mean? What do you mean invisible hands? He was taken down by, who was it? The Who was Deep Throat again? Uh, unnamed. Alderman. Was it Alderman? No, they found out who it was. Did they? Yeah. No, well, in the in the movie, he's just a guy. No, he's but just they found out who it was. And, and they always knew who it was, but they didn't have definitive proof. Now they do. He just died. Deep Throat just died. Um, um, Mark felt, um, Mark felt, yeah. Do, do, if we're going to get into the bushes, we need to do a little prep because there's a lot of really, okay. We want to bullshit out there. Is that no, no, no. Saying? There's oh. just a lot of scandals. A lot of scandals. We just read a bunch and they weren't really, I well, mean, that, that was the sun. And yeah. are you, what are you doing right now? Yeah, what is that, Brian? How are you doing right I'm now? I'm just asking actually. questions of Sam who can't answer my questions. I've answered every question you got. Sam is giving me terrible we'll look history up. notes. Okay, we've got the 1991 uprais- uprisings in Iraq. We've got the savings and loan crisis. We've got the chicken Kiev speech. We've got the omnibus budget reconciliation. I mean, there is so much shady stuff. For the, the Bush bushes. Jr., uh, no, Bush Sr. Okay. Will you look up yeah. underage boy escorts in White House? Okay. This is connected to the Franklin scandal. Did you look up the Franklin scandal? Yeah. What did you get? I mean, it didn't it didn't say that because there's no such thing. Because it's Brian, a no, no. theory. <laughs> Brian, he, what he's doing right now is stalling. Sam, can I for ask you, you? Can I ask you a really important question while he's stalling? Yeah. So I listen to several uh, conservative podcasts. Oh. So one of which would be Commentary Magazine and stuff. And these are people that are reporters and okay. they, they 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 work in think tanks. And yeah. Oh. They write okay. Books, but they don't make a lot of money. Yeah. They don't make a lot of money at all. But they're conservative. Well, well, they well, actually well. don't. Okay, so the you don't, you don't make these are podcasters that live in trailer you know, parks? You, you write books that very few people read because okay. they tend to be... They, these are intellectuals. Yeah, okay. But they follow politics. Where do they live, Brian? Washington Okay. New York City. So they're broke people living in Washington, D.C. Washington, Is that New what York you're City. telling me? Yeah, yeah. They, so, they, what, so these are these are political reporters who live in the ghetto, like Baltimore? No, but I'm saying that reporters don't make that much money. But, but, but Brian, how do the poor people live in Washington D.C.? There are people who have who make two hundred grand a year. Oh, so you're make, saying two hundred grand a year is poor? It's not a lot of money. It's in, a lot of money in, in New York and in D.C. Two, yeah. What I'm saying is that they're middle class. Maybe, so what um, Brian you know, is saying is there is class. political reporters who do podcasts who live like eight but, but to a one any bedroom of these people right any of these people here any we go of these people here we go wait why don't any of these people who actually study this stuff why don't they ever mention any of these conspiracies Brian, because the truth <laughs> of the matter what i mean are we playing this game why is don't it, any of what them? is this why, why don't any is of this them? is this three weeks into but, but conspiracy Sam, why don't Social any Club of them conversations? Do that? why don't any of them talk about it? i feel like i've been trying wait, to wait, do no, the I'm black asking, belt class do they know and i'm stuck back no, in the no, white belt do they I feel know? like i'm in the wait, black wait, belt Sam, class are you saying they know but they don't talk about no the brian truth? because they have a certain narrative in their head and that when you go into things like conspiracy they will lose uh, respect. They feel they'll lose respectability from their peers, so they keep it to themselves. And there's no money in conspiracies, Brian. Wait, so they keep it to themselves? No, they don't believe it because they believe in narratives. Do you, why don't that they they've believe been, it? They've been conditioned: good guy, bad guy. 
Uh, don't they? Republican, Democrat. You think they're that simple-minded? Rich versus poor. You think they're that simple-minded? I, I think that there's a lot of them that do that, or they put out the per, the the uh, they put out the image you, of. Have that. you ever listened to them? Because I I've sent you some. Okay, podcasts. I listen. So to them. Brian, they're a lot more complicated. Okay, than that. They're okay. Smart people. All right. They're so what do you? What is your point? My point is that there are people that really follow things like how the Iraq War started. Yes. They write books on it. Right. They write articles on it. Okay. They write about like about the the right. Trump indictments. Right. They write about everything that's going okay. on in the world that we talk about. Okay. And none of them, and really, I mean Brian? none of them, come to the conclusions you do. Why is that, Sam? Because their books huh. won't get made huh? if they say is things that, because that the author, that the publishers don't want. Brian, Sap you because, are not that Sap naive, not true. right? Sap You're Sap not that naive. Sap 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 there's no way this is you. Sap Sap you are not, not 65 years old and still believe in fairy tales. Is that because it's not true? Okay, okay, okay Brian. Would you say Alex Brian, Jones? Brian, is Brian, Brian, all the smart people. That were pushing Russia gay. What were they, Brian? Were they? Were Democrats. they? What? Democrats. And what? Why did they push it? They wanted to get Trump out of office. Okay, but it was wrong, right? Yes. Okay, so it's the same fucking thing, Brian. They don't get all the information. You've said this on the, the show. You don't get all the information that a lot of people who do deep dives do. And I, you're I, listening I to people, people that are got their heads up their no, butts no, too. because these people do do okay. deep dives. And from the beginning, they've been saying Russian collusion is bullshit. They no, Brian, find they have it. You are rewriting history. Conservatives were. What? Conservative right. thought. Conservatives were. Right. And this is what I'm talking about, conservatives. But they never seem to come up with your conclusions. Which is what? You know, that there's this... Right. Hey, group run this of, thing as Brian tells me I don't know that anything. That there's this group run of international bankers, for example. Here we go. Okay, let's see this. Here, let me hear this. And, and if Washington doesn't have enough to talk about these days, the Washington Times reported today that unidentified White House aides in the Carter, Reagan, and Bush administrations now are being investigated for using the services of a call boy ring. The paper reports that two of the male prostitutes were given a late night tour of the White House last year. The White House press secretary, Marlon Fitzwater, said he knew nothing of this investigation. NBC's Lisa Myers reports her sources in the U.S. Attorney's Office say the investigation is not focusing on prostitution, but on fraud involving the use of credit cards to pay for the call boy services. <laughs> Who uses hookers for fucking prostitutes? Yeah, but... but but I'm sorry, sir. Why are you why are you blaming George Herbert Walker Bush for that? Isn't it possible that there are a lot of there were some gay men who yeah. wanted to bang? And those gay men's oh, name are boys. George Herbert Walker Bush. Well, I don't see that anymore. Yeah, Bush why is are you Bush was leap? gay as okay. Fuck. Classic example. Classic example. Why is it that you're the only one saying that? <laughs> Brian, no I am one, not. And no historian. No, would ever Brian, say that. I am not. But why has no historians, including people that worked with him, have ever said that? Why? What? How come no historians who studied the Bushes and written books? And how come there's nobody who worked with the Were Bushes? those people talking Why about how Barbara about Bush's dad was Alistair Crowley? No, Sam, but also why are they not saying that? Why okay. are you the only one who has the I'm not. There's people who do deep dives who see they're all not, this stuff. Look up Barbara Bush, Alistair Crowley. Not they have the exact same face. They're not the people that His, do. Her mother was in France. They don't do. She is deep, from France. They don't do deep dives, Sam. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They're, they do, they're Brian. People like you, Brian. Who are watching Herbert Walker Bush loved little boys. That's just not so. Yes, you know. And there's no evidence, and I'm trying to find any evidence in little boys. Or do you mean, uh, if it's a prostitution ring, do you mean like 18, 19, I'm talking year old underage, bumpy pickles boys. who used no. to. There was a Ooh, gay bar. Oh, Sam, get what? ready. Grab it. Go on. What do you mean? Grab that bell and hand it over to Brian. <laughs> yes. 15-year-old conspiracy theory about Barbara Bush originally on an April Fool's joke. No, 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 no. Yes. You didn't win nothing. You won yes. nothing. Yes. You won nothing. Yes. You won nothing. Yes, I you win. You won nothing. May I have that bell, please? 15-year-old conspiracy, but it doesn't May say anything. May I have anything. the bell? May I have what the are you bell? talking about? It was, a, it was an April Fool's joke. No, it's not How an April Fool's bell? joke. Give me that bell, please. You're so ridiculous, I'll, I'll Dylan. I see what you do there. I get it. Oh, this is I good. get it. I get it. I have to go one on two in this show. There's nothing going on with that. 
this day, today's been a slaughter fest. <laughs> it's been a fucking sl- slaughter fest. <laughs> uh, and can I we, apologize. Can we? Will you look up the picture of Barbara Bush, Alistair Crowley? Look it up right now so Brian can hand me the bell. Okay? Look it up right now. I mean, because we all know him, Brian is greed. Justin Trudeau's dad was from Cuba. We know that, right? What? That we do know. We do know, okay? Fidel Castro was his dad. Fidel Castro. They all pass these chicks around. Nobody pulls out. Hope and pray. That's what goes. Is that what it is? That's what they call the ceremonies. The like Malachi and hope and pray. I like that a lot. Okay, so. Okay, where's the pictures before we move on? Okay, no, no, no. I, I... Where I pull them real quick. I got the picture. There we go. Um, we won't move till you do that. So the theory is that. Okay, I'll just put the picture up. Nope, that's not it. Boy, you you a, know what you're doing oh there. Boy, look at that. That's go a real, find. Boy, that's go a find serious. where they put their faces side wow, by what side. A, what a what an absolute. I know what you're doing. <laughs> boy, that looks I'm, so I'm real. on to you. Your faces are side I by side. I am on about? to boy, the, you. The resemblance is striking. Oh my God, he, he's Brian. an old guy with a top Brian, hat. She's a how grandmother. How does it feel to have to have like a backup now, to win? George Herbert Walker Bush did apparently have a mistress for a long time. Yeah, and now, his name part, was no. what? Dan her Quayle? Name, her name. Hey, Sam, what are you talking nope. about? Nope. See, that's not it. They have a picture where their heads make one head. Oh, God, and you know Sam. exactly what I'm talking about. Sam. You know exactly what I'm talking Sam, about, bro. Sam, please. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Sam, please. That's Alistair Crowley's daughter. Okay. Who is, who is I, Alistair Crowley? They all play Malachi and Hope and who Pray. Is, who is Alistair Crowley? Alistair Crowley was the uh it was like the dark occultist. Uh, they're like Michael Jordan. They're like they love him. You He's know, their number one guy. He created a. a, a um, you know see, what we're gonna have to see, do. We're gonna have Sam to go to know. one of the most important sources of truth you and go, justice. If you on go, this show. I will what walk is, out why right Sam now. Do any research? No, he does do research. He, he doesn't does even know who Alistair Crowley from is from Hot Girl TikTok. Hot Girl oh, TikTok. Awesome. Let's go, Hot Girl oh, TikTok. This is so good. Hot this Girl TikTok. So- I just figured this out, and this is crazy. This uncanny resemblance of Barbara Bush to Alistair Crowley. Yeah, hot chick. I don't know if this is true or not, but there is a compelling theory that Barbara's biological father was Satanist Alistair Crowley. This picture gives me the creeps. Here we go. Here it is. The one that he wouldn't show you. There it is. Look at that. That's the same uh, face. Boy, that doesn't look like the same face. <laughs> that that looks, looks exactly like the same if face. If someone came in to your restaurant and looking like that, all of us you would go, don't stare, don't stare, don't stare. <laughs> yeah. Don't that stare. is That's totally hot chick TikTok verifies it. You know what? <laughs> You're right, Sam. Brian, Brian's had a bad day in Bum Bum Alley. I'll no, I've you. been crushing this whole... Listen, Brian! Listen, I, I'm going to... I've got to... Get out of here! But I enjoyed slaughtering you. I told you I was going to do Brian, you today. lost so much. I rang the bell a lot. Who won this one? It's probably Brian today, which is really Dylan. Odd Dylan is so probably. bad. You can take probably out of that sentence. No, I, yeah, you're right. Dylan, Brian, won Brian, today. Brian, Dylan, hold on, did hold the, on, hold on. Dylan, what? Why are you putting? Uh, look at look at what he's doing, dude. He even put up bath mitts, two fingers up. Look at that, Brian. Well, we I saw guess. you do that. We, oh yeah, I'm look at like, that. Like look at that. Go, Why don't you do bath mint some more, bro? Go, look at this bath mint motherfucker over here. Sporting event or doing bath mint. Sporting event. It's not me. It's my higher power. Yeah. And your higher power is bath mint. I go like that and I go. Bath mint. And I go like that. I give it Well, like what we learned today, Sam is right, and I have to go one on two every show all Sam, the time. I want you to start doing more research. Wise guys, this weekend, Friday, Saturday, I'll see you there, Salt Lake City. Melbourne, Florida, King Center. I'll see you there September 23rd, September 24th, Genesee Theater. Let's rock and roll. SamTriplee.com. I have to add a bunch of dates. I don't have any up. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Uh, f- follow follow the show everywhere. Subscribe to the channel. Can you guys, I mean. Our numbers are great. God damn it. We're doing great. We're doing great. Brian is addicted to his cell phone. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. Brian really, needs really to check bad. out. Go to samtribly.com, rate, review, say something nice. Say something nice. We should say go back and nice read kids. some of the we comments. There's so we much should. Fun. We should. There's a lot of really, really funny comments yeah. about yeah. Brian's gaping and, yeah. and stuff like that. And we should, no, 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 we no, should I don't read like that. so many of them. <laughs> no, I don't all right, bye.
When people ask, is everything a conspiracy? The answer is yes. Who and what is controlling everything and why? They, they practice sorcery. I can't argue against magic. <laughs> I don't know what it is that we live on, but I believe it's a realm. This realm that we live in is the lowest level of heaven, highest level of hell. Chicken snake gods and the Anunnaki and sorcery. If Sam says the chicken snake god is running everything, I'm literally in the world of crazy. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> You're losing. Conspiracy Social Club, aka Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters.